Hi, Will with Aerial Photo Works here. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about a couple of the problems that I'm having with my uh, octocopter. I got the 88HL uh, shown here with a GH2 hooked into a remote shutter cable. Uh, one problem that I'm having is, um, you know, right now I'm turning everything on and uh, the remote shutter is working great on the ground and uh, it works great as the motors spool up see here you can see me testing it works on the ground but once I uh, go to lift the copter off the ground you'll see the LED on the shutter cable starts blinking and it starts randomly taking photos see there I did it myself the motors are spinning still working fine here but you see as the copter starts to get light you see it starts flashing and it's randomly taking pictures by itself um, can't really hear it in the GoPro audio but at the same time that the LED starts flashing like this uh, the copter itself is also making a rapid beeping sound sounds like beep 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 um, they both start at the exact same time so somehow I think that they're related and so I just, uh, just did a little test here in the yard to kind of show what I'm experiencing. It's really hard to see the LCD screen and see that it's randomly taking shots, but it is. Um, it didn't used to do this. It didn't used to flash and, and uh, kind of have a mind of its own. It used to work perfectly. And the copter didn't used to beep when I would fly. And now it happens every single time. It happens on the full charge battery. Uh, happens at the moment that the copter has enough power to become light and start getting airborne is when the beeping and the LED flashing on the shutter cable begins to happen and uh, it's caused me some problems because I can't really do reliable aerial photos if I can't accurately control my shutter so uh, hoping I might be able to get some help here from someone who sees this video knows what's causing the issue and uh, maybe help me figure out what to do about it see here I land and you see as soon as I land the LED stops blinking the beeping also stopped at the exact same time here I'm spooling the motors back up again just to test it out and you'll notice that at the moment see as soon as the copter starts to get light I haven't lifted off but I'm about half throttle and you can see it's clicking Clicking shots all on its own. I didn't do that. And now I turned off the motors. And that's it for that test. Um, stay tuned. I have some other issues and another video showing uh, showing the, the copter flying after uh, some modifications I've done to the gimbal and shows some other issues that I'm having. Okay, so here's that video. Um, I just recently did some uh, upgrades to my AV200 camera gimbal trying to get better performance out of it. I uh, swapped out the stock 10 turn potentiometer and put a 3 turn potentiometer on it. And I also, and that's on the roll axes, and I also replaced the, uh, the gear on the roll servo with a 72 tooth servo gear. Um, I am seeing better performance than I was experiencing before. I'd say it's still not 100% perfect, but it is significantly better than before. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, this was a kit that I got from a website called 1001copters.com. They are in France. Um, the kit also came with another part which I did not use, which is a 7.2 volt BEC to power the roll servo. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. They say it won't fry your Savic servo, but uh, I'm skeptical, and so I haven't tried it yet. I don't know. I, I might still go to it, as it seems like the roll axis still could be a little more uh, responsive. Now, you're about to see another issue I've had with this copter from the entire time. I cannot get stable footage descending. You can see here, it's shaking all over the place. As the copter is coming down, it tends to bounce all over the place. You can't get any quality footage descending. Um, 
it's kind of frustrating because you know a lot of times there might be interesting things that would be in the frame as you're coming down from a higher altitude, but the footage is pretty much unusable. I mean, even with post stabilization, you can't fix shaking like that. Kimball does look pretty good as far as the stability of it goes, definitely compared to before. Um, doing some kind of erratic flying here, seeing a lot of rolling shutter and things like that. Um, one thing I am still seeing too is uh, I'm still getting quite a bit of vibration, at least that's what I think I'm seeing in the video. I don't really know 100% what, uh, what to do about it. Uh, I don't know if change into a different style props or if there's some way to dampen the vibrations but this is all unedited footage just a little test in my backyard and this is what I'm getting and uh, quite frankly compared to what I'm seeing other people and their results I, uh, I desire better quality that's why I'm trying to do these improvements <laughs> wish I would have waited two months and bought the Sinstar but no one told me that was going to be out Anyhow, that's old news. Um, now, what you probably can notice in this footage is if you listen carefully through the GH2 audio, you can faintly hear the beeping sound that is happening that I displayed in the, in the first video. Um, you know, that happens as soon as I lift off through the duration of the flight on a fully charged battery. Don't know why or what's causing it. Uh, I'd really like to figure that out. It is a nuisance because to me it indicates that there's a problem and it's causing problems with my remote shutter. Um, I'm about to land here and if you listen carefully you'll notice when I land that you'll hear the beeping stop right when I power off. Okay, well that's it. Let me know what you think. Thank you.